video if you're new then please don't forget to subscribe and join the family we would love to have you with us and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it is only a little teeny tiny haul um it's not a massive haul i went in there and i could have spent a lot of money there are some lovely autumn pieces in there but i was desperately trying to be restrained as it's not that cold yet um and we've just been on holiday and money's a bit tight so I just wanted to pick up a few things. I went in for one thing in particular. And as usual, I came out with a little bag load. Didn't spend a great deal of money. Spent about 20 quid, which is good going for me going into Primark. But I went in for a couple of things which I couldn't get. I went in for some joggers for my son for his PE um, and a hoodie. But didn't seem to have many joggers and he's really skinny. So he needs a slim fit in a jogger and just couldn't find any in there. And the hoodies... Uh, were either zip up and I really didn't really want a zip up one I wanted something quite plain because it's for school and they'd all got slogans on the ones that weren't zip up the opposite in the women's department I really wanted a new hoodie I wanted a zip up one um, and they were all very 90s inspired with just little tiny half zips all cropped um, I've got cropped ones which are great for when it's like spring summer but not so much for winter when you want a proper warm jumper on so bit disappointed in that respect my Primark's not the biggest one in the world so can't expect too much um I picked up some basics so I'll start with those I get these every year I swear I do um but they are really good they're six pound <laughs> excuse me uh they're six pound each this one is just a round necked ribbed little jumper they're only thin I wear them all the time for work pair them with little skirts usually and boots and tights and they're nice and warm but they're not too thick and if it is really cold I tend to just wear a vest underneath and that way it keeps me a bit warmer but I like the the neck on this one the little round neck I pick all of my clothes up either in a small or a medium depending on the fit so small now in Primark is 10 to 12 but these are so stretchy that a 10 to 12 is perfect and because I do want them to tuck into skirts that's usually the size I will go for then in the cream I got the high neck one which is my favourite absolutely love these but I've got a load already don't have a cream one so I thought I'd pick a cream one up again got it in the 10 to 12 and it's six pounds and it's so soft they're really soft and they wash quite well they last quite well so they're my two like little basics then I picked up another t-shirt did I need another t-shirt no and I was actually tempted to pick up more than one but I saw this one and um, I really liked the colour this sort of peachy pink colour it says potential on it and it looks a little bit oversized. This is, again, I've got a size 10 to 12. Um, but it looks a bit oversized. I'll probably just tie it up at the bottom. This was meant to be £4. But it actually scanned at £2. So an absolute bargain. And it wasn't marked down. So this happened to me the other time. The other week I went into Primark. And I picked up a £2.50 t-shirt. Just a little blue boxy one. Which said perfection on it and when it's scanned at the tilt it was a pound so it was an absolute bargain so I love it when that happens a couple of other reduced bits which I didn't know were reduced I picked up a face mask because I cannot go into Primark without picking up a face mask absolutely love a face mask this one is the vitamin a antioxidant and skin refreshing hydro sheet mask they're made in Korea yeah, Korean skincare is great and this one was reduced from £2 to £1, absolute bargain. I then saw this little PS matte lipstick, I've actually already used it just once, I couldn't wait. Um, what shade is this? Uncovered I think is meant to be the shade. The packaging is just so aesthetically pleasing, it is matte packaging and it just feels so soft and I'm a sucker for a good packaging. And I think this was meant to be £1.50 originally. And um, it's just a really nice neutral nude shade. It's a little bit light for me actually. It's sort of almost skin coloured. But I thought for every day it would be nice. It's a nice cream matte. It doesn't go too dry. And that was reduced from £1.50 to 50 pence. So I couldn't resist. I didn't really need another lipstick. But... I can never resist a good lipstick and then one thing that I actually went in for was this I saw 
these advertise on I think the Primark Beauty Instagram and they are the PS Naturals collection there is meant to be a big collection of stuff but in my store they only had a couple of items they had some cotton pads they had some daily moisturizers this was one of the things that i really wanted to get and it is a balm to oil cleanser and i thought this might be very similar to the elemis pro collagen cleanser obviously not exactly the same but do the same sort of job or the um body shop chamomile cleansing balm oh it doesn't really smell of much it smells really fresh but i don't think it's got a scent as such what i liked about this is it's not massive it's not a massive tub um but there are some great benefits to this balm to oil cleanser so it's 50 ml which i still think will last quite a while because Let's face it, when you're using a cleansing balm, you don't use an awful lot. And I don't wear an awful lot of makeup, so I can get away with just using a tiny bit. What is great about this is that it's made with 90% natural origin and it's vegan. And all of the Primark Beauty stuff seem to be cruelty free. This one has got the bunny on, so it definitely is cruelty free. Um, it's made with organic coconut water and Australian Kakadu Plum. Um, transforming texture melts helping to cleanse and condition the skin 90% naturally derived ingredients botanical ingredients organic natural ingredients vegan friendly certified cruelty free while widely recyclable packaging which is great and I just think it's really good that budget brands like Primark are doing things that are not only cruelty free now but also vegan and this was three pounds for 50 ml which is so cheap for a balm cleanser you just can't pick them up cheaply and for it to be vegan and cruelty free is super super cheap for a, like a vegan cruelty free product um i wasn't going to get any wipes because i am trying not to use wipes however in the ps naturals range i saw this two pack for a pound and when i looked at them not only are they 96 percent natural origin and vegan and cruelty free they're made in the uk and they are biodegradable so the one thing about wipes which everyone is going crazy about now is the fact that they're really bad for the environment these are biodegradable they've got green tea and chamomile extracts they're suitable for all skin types and i just thought they were a really good idea and you get a two pack so you get 40 wipes in total for one pound which is super cheap super super cheap and for biodegradable ones that are sort of environmentally friendly as well as vegan and cruelty free it just seems crazy i'm not sure how they manage it but yeah i'm interested to try those and see what they're like and that is it that is everything in my primark haul what i did want to get from the ps naturals range was their overnight sleep mask but they didn't have any in my store which was unfortunate um i did however pick up a couple of other items while i was out um i'll throw them in and show you they're not from primark but um i can't go without a face mask so on this shopping trip because i couldn't pick up my ps naturals sleep mask that i wanted i did still have my five pound body shop voucher so if you sign up to the body shop um club and get their card on your birthday they send you a five pound voucher and you've got a month to use it so my birthday was in August, I hadn't used my voucher and I went in and I picked up a sheet mask from their collection. This is the Drops of Youth Youth Concentrate Sheet Mask. Instant hydration. After 15 minutes, skin looks fresher, bouncier and healthier. It is biodegradable, which is great. It's cruelty free, obviously being from the body shop. And it is 100% vegan, 99% ingredients of natural origin. So the, this is incredible. However, it was £5. My voucher for my birthday was £5, so it didn't actually cost me anything, which is why I picked it up. Would I normally pay £5 for a sheet mask? Quite possibly not, but we'll see how good it is. I am really interested in the drops of youth and um, stuff from Body Shop. It just se it seems really, really good. There's great reviews about it. However, it is a little bit on the pricey side. Uh, this is Enriched with Community, community Trade Babausu Oil. 
infused with plant stem cells, which is meant to have strong regenerating powers, and and it's biodegradable, which I've already said. So it's created using a sustainable and eco-friendly process and it's developed to be fully biodegradable, which is great. So yeah, um, it says to just use as a normal sheet mask, but it does say that you should use um, your youth concentrate, the drops of youth concentrated serum um, afterwards, which I obviously don't have. I do have after mask serums though, and normal serums, which I can use instead. Um, and it says after four weeks using the youth enhancing routine, which I'm presuming includes the serum, the overall appearance of skin is improved, fine lines and pores appear less visible, more youthful, plumper, healthier looking skin. Yeah, I'm interested in trying this one. I do love a sheet mask and obviously I've got this one from Primark as well to try. If you are interested in the sheet masks and the reviews on them, I tend to pop those on my Instagram channel. So follow me here on Instagram and you'll see my face mask reviews, you'll see my face with this stuck on it, <laughs> which is very attractive. Um, and you'll get to see what I think of each of the face masks and whether I would recommend them. The only other thing I picked up was this from L'Oreal and it is the CC Saint Magique, um, which is an anti-redness skin enhancer. So I had a £10 Boots voucher for my birthday as a gift and I went in and had a quick look around. I was going to re-pick up the colour correcting primer from number seven, which I use, which I have used for years and years and years. It is not cheap, it's £16.50 for a tube. And I'm told they've slightly changed the formula since the last time I picked one up. And today they didn't have any in stock. So they'd got all of their other primers, but they hadn't got the colour correcting one. And then I remembered I'd seen this, and I think it was diary of beauty geek on her channel and i was really interested in it then and when i went to pick it up after i saw that video they didn't have any in stock so this time they did i went and had to look for it because i couldn't get my usual color correcting cream and this sounds amazing it's basically a CC cream with a colour corrector in. So if you look at it, I'm not going to get it out now. Oh, well, I'll show you a little bit. If you look at it, it comes out green. But then, so that's what my normal colour corrector primer from number seven is like. Then when you rub it in, it actually turns to a skin colour, um, which my number seven one doesn't. You have to blend it in, you have to be really careful how much you use with the number seven one, otherwise you end up looking like Shrek. You have to blend it in just literally on your redness, because if you try and use it anywhere else, it just makes your skin look a strange colour. And then normally with the number seven one, I would put my CC cream over the top. This I think is going to do both. I think it's going to um, help with the redness and also give me my CC normal colour cream everywhere else. So I'm really excited to try this. It's infused with fig extract, not sure what that's meant to do. It also has SPF 20, which is brilliant, and it's meant to be 24 hour hydration. And it just says, weightless bare skin sensation for a perfect nude look. Really, really excited to try this and see what it's like. Let me know if you'd be interested in a re review of this. I can do it on my YouTube or on my Instagram, whichever is easiest. Let me know in the comments below. And that was my shopping trip today. Um, so a couple of things that weren't from Primark, but mainly um, my Primark bits. I'm a bit gutted I couldn't pick up everything that I was looking for today, but it saved me a few pennies, so maybe next time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on my channel so that I can do a huge giveaway for you guys as a thank you for all your support on my videos. And I would love to do that by the end of the year. So if you're not already subscribed, then please do click that subscribe button. And I'll see you for another video very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.